Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim, I am a plant mom and today we are gardening. Yes, <laughs> finally. I'm gonna show you my tiny but pretty little garden. Let's go. So as you know, I live in a small apartment but I am lucky enough to have a tiny but cute garden with it. Um, I have a west facing window, which means I do have bright sunlight during the day from at least 2 p.m. to like, I don't know, maybe 7 or 8 p.m. Which means I have a lot, a lot, a lot of sunlight during the day. And I figured like, why not, you know, grow some things? <laughs> The last renter of this apartment um, thought it was a good idea to put fake grass on the ground for like 7 or 8 years. <laughs> I do have also turtles that I like to put in the garden during the summer. Um, obviously uh, only when I'm here to you know to watch what's going on so I planted real grass on the ground I tried also to plant some little flowers on the back of the garden but I don't have a lot of them right now and as the ground was not really exploitable for growing vegetables I tried to grow things in uh, planters so these are green beans <laughs> these are small green beans um, plants uh, that i grew from seeds in these tiny pots and i'm gonna show you how i repot it in this video right here i have this pot um i don't know what plant is this uh, actually i got this from my parents house and um, I kept it because my turtle seems to love eating those leaves and it also grows um, small white flowers during the summer. It's really cute. Here is my biggest planter. I have a lot of things in here. First of all, I have two tomato plants. Here you can see that um, we are almost getting <laughs> something out of this uh, garden um, they are big but I did notice that some of the flowers didn't push out some tomatoes which means I don't have a lot of pollinating insects in my garden um, I guess because I don't have a lot of flowers because if you have uh, various um, species of plants and flowers in your garden um it will increase the number of pollinating insects in it and as my garden was pretty much looking like a mess and there was nothing uh, besides weeds in it during this whole year i guess the insects didn't like it and a lot of my tomato flowers um remained unpollinated here I do have some aromatics, um, I have some chives, I literally stole it from my parents house. I just had to plant like two or three chives plants and I already can see some little ones um, pushing out from the soil, so I know it's doing well. Here I have some red radish, um, it's the first time. <laughs> I'm growing radish. I don't know how to grow it. I guess you just have to, you know, water it and see what happens. And I already can see some of them comes out of the soil, but I don't know when they are going to be ready to, you know, um, be collected and how they are going to taste because I'm really curious about that. And I have six of them in my planter. On the side, we have um, three little pots, one of coriander and two pots of parsley. Um, after this video, I went on a little week of vacation and unfortunately, um, they dried up really quickly and I couldn't save them. But I still had some parsley seeds 
So as we are still in August, I think I'm gonna be able to grow some parsley back. So for first planter full of vegetables, it's not that bad. I'm really um, excited and happy about it. So today I figured that uh, it was a time for a refresh <laughs> on this grass. So I pulled out a few weeds here and there. And obviously I do have an assistant in this um, <laughs> In this job, here is my uh, one of my sons. Um, he is assisting me today and he is doing a really good job. It was time for um, repotting my green beans. At first, I thought it was gonna fit in my big planter. I was planning on taking out the red radish when they would be ready and um, plant my green beans right on, on their spots but my radish are not ready and <laughs> my green beans needs a repot so I'm planting it in a just a bigger pot with um, a little bit more soil in it I was looking away because I was watching my assistant <laughs> He was being silly in the back of the garden and I didn't want him to um, get stuck between the branches so I'm keeping him really close to me. Um, yeah, I'm just reporting my things and um, water it thoroughly because it's really hot and those green beans are really fragile. So after that, I thought it was a good idea to repot my coriander as well. Um, it didn't survive as I said earlier, but um, it obviously needed a bigger pot at the time. And it's a shame because coriander is kind of hard <laughs> to grow. Um, it's strange, but you know, parsley is really, really fun. and. Um, easy to grow but coriander it's giving me a hard time every year so yeah it was um, a pleasure to have this coriander and it just dried up and died on me but yeah um, this year was a experiment as I said And here is what it looks like. I'm really excited to show you the updates on these plants. I think I can show you some um, updates from my tomatoes and my green beans. But I'm really, really excited to just eat my own tomatoes this summer. And even if there is not a lot of them, um, it will be a big first in my plant parenting life. And I hope next year it's going to be bigger and fuller and more flowers more vegetables so yeah that was it for today's video it was a hard time for me because it was really hot outside please don't forget to like share and subscribe it it would help me a lot and i will see you in my next one bye